I think we're really continuing to see signs that inflation likely has peaked. Um, just most recently, we did get the PCE numbers out, and it is showing that inflation is starting to come down. When you look at either the total number or the core PCE, um, we're starting to see those figures come down just as the CPI has over the previous months. So I think that the question is, is it coming down enough that the Fed is going to start to reduce interest rates? And that's really what the markets are so focused on right now. We had a, a nice month there where the Fed wasn't meeting and markets were doing fantastic. Now that's coming back into focus again. And every little data point, the next one being Friday when we get the jobs report out, is really what the markets are going to be looking for. Every detail that's going to indicate what they're going to be doing later this month and later this the rest of the year. So mm -hmm. I think we'll probably see some choppy trading between now and then. So, so the market is concerned about ri rising interest rates. But my feeling is that it goes beyond that. What typically follows a rapid, dramatic rise in interest rates? What typically follows is recession. And I wonder whether you agree that that is a worry and that that is being reflected in the rather sharp decline off of the, uh, the rebound uh, in stocks lately. That's definitely the worry, right? And these these things go hand in hand because the fear is that if inflation isn't tamed, the Fed is going to re raise interest rates to the point that it's going to force us into a recession, right? So yep. inflation doesn't come down. The answer in a lot of people's minds is recession unless we're able to get that soft landing where they're able to bring this down without um, driving the economy there. And I, I do still think that's possible. I don't think that we are necessarily going to be into a deep recession. Um, I do think it's possible for them to bring down inflation as long as labor still stays stays strong, right? And it's you kind of want that Goldilocks scenario where you need labor to come down enough that the Fed, right. they said over and over again, that's one of the things they're looking at. Tessa. Well, and the, the whole point about jobs here is that if there are not enough people participating in the workforce to fill the job openings, and again, we've seen those job openings increase at this point, then how do you manage uh, the rising wage inflation that is a contributor here to underlying inflation? Something has to be done about how many workers we have versus how many workers we need. And that's not something that the Fed is really in a position to do at this point. Do you think that there are some companies that are better positioned to pay returns on the investment no matter what comes down the pike? Yes. Yeah. And I think that's that's really one where you want to make sure you're not in some of your longer duration assets. So things like some of your big technology companies have been the things that you've seen just over the last several days here have been selling off a lot more than others. And I think you want to make sure that you have a lot of those companies that are paying good cash flow. They have pricing power and they're going to have demand whether we go into recession or not, because either way, we are facing a slowing economy, whether that means a recession or just a slower economy. We are facing that. And you want to make sure you have those companies who are going to benefit.